by my testimony. I know the trick is true. I know that Heavenly Father loves me, and I know that my family loves me. I know that. What does Jesus Christ mean to me? Well, he means hope, faith, comfort. He gives me direction and he gives me purpose in my life. I've heard many people's experiences and stories and I've had many of my own where I've been able to increase my faith in my Savior and I know that he's there. I know that he is a living, loving Savior that cares about me and what's going on in my life. <clears throat> I find myself praying in his name every morning and every evening and many times in between and I seek and act upon personal revelation as the Young Women theme states and as I do this I receive responses. I have thoughts in my mind or I receive suggestions from friends who didn't even know that it was something I was praying about. I read scriptures that help me to know what to do. I hear lyrics of songs that help me to know what the Savior wants me to do. One very sacred experience I have had in my life where I've received help was when my best friend slash cousin passed away at age 30 from terminal cancer. She was really my best friend. This is a picture of her and me just before she passed away. It was a devastating loss to me. We did everything together <coughs> and I was really at a loss what to do without her and I was worried about her family. She had a husband and five small children and what were they going to do without their wife and mother? Um, her husband called me the day that she passed away to let me know that that had happened and I can remember going to my room and just sobbing. I know that there's life after death and I knew that she would be okay but I was going to miss her. It was so sad. So I kneeled down and I talked to my Heavenly Father and I bore my soul to him telling him what am I going to do? I'm going to miss this lady. I love her. And I felt so very tangibly arms wrapping around me and letting me know that it was going to be okay. And I know that that was the Savior being there for me. I also know that he was there for her family. I went over to their house that day to see what I could do to help and take care of the kids. And I was talking to her oldest who was only eight years old. And I said, how did it feel to be in that room when your mother was dying? And she said, Laura, it was so weird. Everybody was crying, but I felt good. I felt warm and peaceful, and that was my second witness that the Savior was there for her. The Holy Ghost was helping her along and giving her comfort when she was losing this mother, <laughs> and who knows what was going to happen next. <clears throat> I picture the Savior putting his arms around that little girl and letting her know that it was going to be okay. The Holy Ghost and the Savior are there for us whenever we need them. They are real. I try to live my life so that I can access their power at any time. That power and that love. And man, do I ever need it on a daily basis as a wife, a mother, a friend, a neighbor, a counselor in the Relief Society. No matter what I'm doing, the Savior is there to help me and to put his arms around me. Once it was felt literally, but many times figuratively, and I can feel that help and calm and peace in my heart. I'm so grateful for that love in my life, and I feel it on a daily basis. That is what Jesus Christ is to me. <clears throat>